Welcome to my guide on how to get the candle hatchet the fastest way possible as this is now the best possible excellent weapon you will want to be using at it is tier 80 and pretty soon well maybe in a couple of months or so we'll be able to get like the earth and lava hatchet or something that will be tier 80 so with that let the guide begin the very first in candle piece requires you to have completed the tier 3 log cabin afterwards speak to oak and he'll see that we have completed the construction of his cabin i couldn't have you working out here all day without somewhere comfortable to reside i knew it may Look, somewhat basic for now, but I'm sure we have the opportunity to improve it in the future, which means hopefully we'll cut an update. Thanks, Sir Grace, but there's no need to be so humble. There is, this is more than enough. I'm glad you like it, Oak. If you need anything else, do let me know. Afterwards, speak to him again. And you'll say that the trees have been well taken care of, in which case we can just space bar it. But he will say about the new trees, the new plant life and stuff. And we do have some new birds nest laying around within the area. Now I don't know if the birds nests are actually like area locked to this specific thing or not. But he'll tell you about the Encando hatchet, in which case he will tell you that you're able to get it from the bird's nest and to make it you will need all four pieces and to speak to Thurgo about it so let's claim this bird's nest that he gave us and we now have the candle matic hatchet uh, fragment one make your way to the karamja lodestone as for the items needed, you'll need 100 trading sticks. If you are an Iron Man, you are able to sell gems to Gabuti, that is in the Taibawana village. As for the equipment, you'll need the full Nature Sentinel. This is just so you get a higher chance of getting a woodcutting success, and it does buff getting the bird's nest drop rate a legendary lumberjack aura because it just helps you get 15% logs quicker the crystal axe or hatchet with the honed 6 and preferably refined 4 perk the wood cutting cape 99 and 120 do the exactly the same thing a ring of whispers for a plus three invisible boost a strong rabbit necklace which you can buy from grand exchange and the strong rabbit foot increases your chance of getting bird's nest and lastly you'll need the tree shaking scrimshaw the bible one before the update was selling for about 400k now i believe it's about one mil per and for three hours, it's a 300% chance of a buff to getting a bird's nest. You can also make this in ports for the superior version, which has a 400% chance of collecting a bird's nest. The last item is not needed, but it will be the Sena's Fire Torch, which does have a plus 6% chance of wood cutting rate. So, once we have all of that, make your way to the Karamja Lodestone. From here, run south east. This has taken me a lot of hours to test the average amount of bird's nest, so I will be including some other ones if you would like. So once we're here, you can right click the grove and pay 100 trading sticks and like I did said 
pretty much like in the very center, you're able to trade the NPC for the trading sticks. Activate your aura, your scrimshaw, and for now, I'll be woodcutting mahoganies. Cutting willows and maples seem to average about six bird's nests an hour. Cutting mahoganies seems to average about 14 birds nest hourly and you will get a message in your chat box when you have gotten the birds nest although you will need to unfilter completely because it was a birds nest plus at the end of that so you won't be getting like 14 plus birds nest you'll be getting a total of 14 nest hourly you can also if you want you can chop elders but you only get about 7.25 birds nest an hour and lastly the absolute best method is not these mahogany logs in fact it is these trees the teak nearby and if you stand right here you can zoom in and since these trees are kind of thin you can line them up so you only have to click in one spot. And mahogany and teak trees, they drop like a rock so fast and often, which is why I did suggest getting the refined four perk. And of course, the home six does help. It's just refined works massively on these teaks. And right there in the chat, you did see I already got bird's nest. The average nest per hour doing teaks is 21 bird's nest an hour, which is the fastest possible way of getting your candle hatch or axe. In which case, I did just AFK and then I wait until the trees spawn because I'm not going to bother moving. And even while doing this, when both trees fall down, you're still able to get on average a 21 nest. Some hours I was getting up to 26 nest. And then my lowest was 17 birds nest an hour, which is still amazing if you are doing like elders where you only get seven birds nest. In which case this is the best possible way on your road to get the candle max. Now time for me to explain how to get your Encando Axe. To make the Encando Hatchet, you want to go to the Port Zerum Lodestone and run south. We'll be speaking to Thurgo, which, fun fact, if you do have all one to three fragments and the fourth one that's still in the bird's nest, you will not get your second Axe until you make it, in which case you just want to search the strange looking bird's nest that does not have seeds or the stone sprites, in which case when you search it, you will get the next fragment in line. For the items needed, you'll need all four fragments, the dragon hatchet, and a red berry pie might help. Now, let's go speak to Thurgo, in which case he'll notice a tingling in our in his Encando fingers and he'll say oh, we found the ancient Encando hatchet which in case he wants to have a look in option one say yes please do so you have all four pieces with these I can recreate an ancient Encando hatchet for you it won't be easy though as for the pieces you need the dragon hatchet one million coins to buy the other materials and the red berry pie that we do have so hit option one I have all of these items now with me in which case I wish we had an awesome cutscene that he does make it but we now have the candle hatchet which I will put an augmenter on it as soon as possible now for the perks I do have Prosper 6, I mean Hone 6 with Prosper, which it 
It's only really helpful as you get clues. Otherwise, you can just stick with Honed 6. This will be the best in slot perk. And this is very situational, but I will be putting the Refined 4 perk on the hatchet because I don't believe I'll benefit from Fortune 3 too much as I'll be testing a lot of the new XP rates using the tier 80 axe. So let's smack that refined 4 on it and let's check this bad boy now. There we go. And with that, thank you all so much for watching this fairly short video on how to farm the candle hatchet the fastest way possible along with making it as well don't forget to like subscribe and comment as it really does help